Hello and welcome back to Switch Places, Sergeant Scrive, and another episode of L.A. Noir. In the last episode, we saw a very long case where it proves that you need to search all evidence to progress in the game. If you don't know what I mean, do check out the last video. But let's get into this one. Okay, so this is the name of the new case that is up for Phelps. All right, gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit and run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site, the coroner's on his way. Get down there, see if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to put him down to one round. Okay, we're off. I know $30 is a Come on, partner. In you get. Ah, bet a lot of you thought I was going to take that car out in front, didn't you? Let's see if we can. DA is going to press charges, and Rodriguez might do time. I'll speak to the DA. She suffered. I don't know, Cole. He's an easy make, and the DA likes conviction. I'll convince him to let him go. <laughs> okay, How so they're talking that? about previous case. I'll give him something better. Over here. Okay, looks like there's a few people to interview. But... Detectives! Over here! Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? I think it's a white male named Lester Patterson. Walked out of the bar and into the street. Car hit over there and he ended up here. Dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar. Her name is Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Is that so? We'll take a formal statement later. Right now we're going to take a look around. Okay, so those that haven't seen the last case, it's very important to look for clues. See a name inside the hat. Come on. It's not zooming in. No, not doing it. 
Phelps, you should take a look at the body. The poor guy didn't stand a chance. Landed on his face and ended up here. The car must have struck him from behind. Inside his wallet. We've got his address. We can notify next of kin. Nothing special about the money? Maybe. Hang on. Let's just see if we can. No. Well, let me do any more to that. Let's have a look. Okay. Anything? No. What about a watch on the other arm? got on the victim from all reports he was intoxicated at the time of the accident i'll know how intoxicated once i've done the autopsy looking him over now i'd say he died on impact what about the chest wound? isn't that inconsistent very common in auto injuries look for a car with a prominent foot ornament those things are killers okay so hood ornament so Let's have a look at the uh, evidence over here. Body traveled a good 20 feet. driver managed to break before the impact. Hmm. Sure, there's something about his hat. Madison has life insurance. Life insurance. Has he been done in to get his life insurance? Sure, there is something about his hat. I'm sure of it. There's definitely got to be something there. It's not letting me select to zoom in on it. No. Okay. Well, we know there's a possibility with his hat a bit later. Okay, let's go talk to this lady.
It's all yours, detective. Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three, C, eight. Aren't you at least going to try to catch the man that did this? Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. Go on. Then a third person. Another man got involved. Thank you, Miss Perry. Your information has been very helpful. We can go now. You really think so? I hope you find that driver and put him away. You certainly got away with the dames, Phelps. Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. I'll take the bartender. You work the rest of the room. Maybe she was the uh, female voice. I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna of Mrs. Patterson home. Do you know the victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Why do I get the feeling you're holding out on me? I'm not trying to hide anything. Just if it's all the same to you, I'd rather not speak ill of the dead. A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? What was it about? Who knows? The slightest thing could set those two off. I mean, we got one right so far. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. Why are you lying, Lynch? What are you covering up? Is that the best you've got? You expecting me to confess to being the driver? I'd suggest you speak to someone who saw what happened. I'm about done speaking to you. Don't think we got Stalling any makes right. Us more inquisitive, Lynch. We'll get nope. to the bottom of this. None of those. With or without you. We got none of those. That guy has a serious attitude problem. You get anything out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. Okay. Courtney, come in. Have a seat. Thanks, Doctor. How are you finding working at the clinic? It's, uh, fine. Are you sure? Can I be honest with you, Doctor? I would hope so, Courtney. I was hoping that the therapy would be more beneficial. Treatment can, unfortunately, be very long-term. 
So many of the patients here are addicts, Doctor. Many of them have been for years, Courtney. In the past, these people were condemned in sanatoriums. We can reveal the root of the problem. Then we have a chance to help them. And until then, they stay sedated? Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? Mm, I said in the last I episode, more, I didn't trust him. Couldn't Sorry. work out whether it was good or bad. I don't mean to criticize. Part of being a physician, Courtney, is learning to be patient. How is it possible to keep so many of them on their medications, Doctor? Many of their addictions are illegal. Oh, many things in life are gray, Courtney. What may on the surface appear to be illegal is actually a benefit to society at large. Hmm. Something not right about that. Okay, let's go to this phone and make a phone call. Operator, give me dispatch. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need to run a partial license plate, 3 Charles 8. Cross-check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, Detective. Only one possible make on that license. Registered to a William Shelton, 738 West Temple Street. Thanks. Okay. We may have the person. Looks like we caught a break on this one. Now we've got to decide where we're going to go. Is there anything on this table that. What's that clue? It said clue then. What clue is that? I think it's probably the newspaper, yeah it is. Okay, that's fine. Right, let's go. And let's work out where we're going to go to. We know that she disappeared up the stairs. Is that our car? Didn't think it is. I think this is our car over here. We've got to track down that Ideas. Lincoln Phelps. We find the car, and then we nail the driver. Why are you standing by this car? Why are you standing by my car? Get out of the way. Advice? We've got to track down that Lincoln Phelps. We find the car, and then we nail Can't the driver. Can't get in the car. Let me try this one. Aha! Slow this in this time. Okay. Which one do we go to first? The residence? Because we know she was given a lift home by the owner of the... Let's go to the Shelton residence. Let's go there first. Lucky break getting the partial ID. Cases are usually dead in the water after 24 hours if no one comes forward. Why don't they just stop? You heard about fight or flight during the war? Sure. Never back your enemy into a corner. That kind of stuff. Right. Well, the hit and run, the perp is already in flight. It's easier to keep going. It takes a degree of moral courage to stop and accept responsibility. You're not as dumb as you make yourself out to be, are you, Stephon? I didn't know I was making myself out to be. 
As soon as it's the way we're going, we'll take care of that one as well. There's the red Lincoln. Hmm. right there. William Shelton? Yes. It doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. Yes. The accident. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene, not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Shelton. Okay, we've got to chase him. We've got to chase him. That coward thinks he can run from everything. Come on. No wonder he killed someone driving like this. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Don't let that asshole get away. Oh, this is a chase and a half. Oh! Where'd he go? He's heading into the station. Go on, get out! Oh! Go, let's chase him. Hold it right there, Shelton. How does a vehicular manslaughter rap sound, Shelton? I hit him. I admit it. I just panicked, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? The guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. There's nothing I could do about it. Why didn't you stop? I've had accidents before. That's it. We're done here. The DA is going to love you. They weren't all my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead, Shelton. You can't be serious. William Shelton, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. OK. Leave the coroner and the paperwork. Procedure can wait. We should probably go speak to the wife and let her know what's happening. Okay. You become all hard at the prospect of paperwork, don't you? So, I think that Mrs. Patterson and the owner of the bar are trying to claim the insurance. Officer needs help. Three, three. 
Okay, let's go and uh, sort out this officer needs help. If there's an officer that needs help, we're going after him. Siren. Yeah, we're here. We're here. What's the situation? Uh, we got a hold up gun sour. Three guns locked themselves in with two hostages. I tried to go in through the front, but the place is a fortress. I nearly got a mouthful of lead from my trouble. All right. I'll see if I can get in through the back. All right, I'll stay here and keep them busy. Let's go. Let's try the back. See if there's a way in. so dark in there you can't see what you're doing let's go again so as you're probably aware there's other cases that can be achieved in between solving the case that you've been assigned which is what we're doing now we had a call to this we're here What's the situation? Uh, we got a hold up gun sour. Okay, we're gonna go around. Let's go. We'll try the back. So there's three shooters. We got one last time. We are going to take all three, hopefully, this time. Let's go. Whoa! We're ready for you. Come on. That's one down. Whoa! Oh, there's the other one. You're gonna get yourself killed. Get after him! Okay, we need to get up the stairs. Can't see where the... Uh... Okay. You're in my way. Someone's in my way, I can't get past. You're in my way! Detective, move! Detective! Thank you.
Put the weapon down now. You fucking asked for it. No, it required two bullets. Ah. Okay, well that detective got in my way. We've got to do it again. Partner, do not stand in my way. Okay, let's go. This time, we're go. doing it. We'll try the back. Jesus is Christ! So... <laughs> let's go. Kick the door in. Kick the other door in. Weapons on the ground Come. now. Find some cover. Whoa. Oh. Come out of the way! You're in the way, detective! Again! Quick up the stairs! Get after him! Did we get the other one? We did. Okay. Put the weapon down now. You fucking asked for it. Got him. Car 11K, I've been involved in a shooting at 333 South Main Street, Globe Loan and Jewelry. It's code 4 now, but the suspect is down. I need an ambulance here. I notify my supervisor and the coroner. 11K, Roger on the ambulance and coroner. Your supervisor will be notified. All units 11K reports code 4 on the shooting at 333 South Main Street, Globe Jewelry and okay. Loan. So we've done 10% of street crimes. Let's go to where our destination is. Let's go and tell the Mrs. Patterson about her insurance fraud. I mean, about the death of her husband. Okay, we're here. Yes? Hello? Mrs. Patterson. Is this about my husband? We're investigating the incident, ma'am. I see. Come in, won't you? 
Something not quite right there. We wanted to give you the facts about the accident, ma'am. I appreciate that, but I think I know most of them already, Detective. He was hit by a car, now he's dead. What more is there to tell? Pardon me, but you don't appear to be too upset about it. Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. So you probably did well to stick together this long. What's that supposed to mean, mister? I think it's about time you left. I have someone here, and Beg I... Beg your pardon? You're gonna have to run that one by us again, sister. It's okay, Lorna. I'm Leroy Sabo. Well, well. Nice to see you're comforting the grieving widow, Mr. Sabo. All right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. It wasn't good. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. Good friends. You expect me to believe that? Look, I was filing for divorce. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. And Lester knew about that? No. I hadn't told him. Well, hasn't this worked out well for the two of you? I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walked straight into the path of an oncoming car. You expect me to believe that, Laura? It's all very convenient. Gambling for Lester was like the needle for a hophead. He was yelling at me. He was yelling at the whole world. I kind of felt sorry for the driver. Poor guy had no chance. You were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk. We were always arguing. So what? Admit it. You were baiting him, pushing his buttons. We can easily get the full story from the regulars in the bar. All right. Lester was playing cards out back. He lost, of course, and wanted back in. He suggested I earn the money on my back to get a mistake. That was the proposition he was putting to his so-called buddies. So maybe I was a little angrier than usual. Let's just say I took exception to his idea. You and Mr. Sabo have an interesting day. I'm sure we will, officer. Now, if you could both just leave. We're leaving, ma'am. Sorry for your loss. I can see what a tough time you're having with all this. Hmm. Come on, Phelps. Let's make ourselves Two scared. out of two correct. I'm still not convinced. There's a telephone first. There's a telephone. Let me use the telephone. It says to use telephone. Here we go. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? Messages for me, please. Just one detective from the coroner. Message reads Phelps, see me at Central Morgue immediately. Results of the Patterson autopsy. Thank you. Knew there was something else. I knew there was something else. Here we go. We need to get to the morgue. Let's go. 
I'm out of here, Lorna. I got a business to run. Let's go to the uh, coroner's. Set the destination, and we're off. Sweet bit of driving. Yeah, we're not going to do that one. We've already done my extra case. We're here. Let's go to the coroner. in front of a judge in less than a week. You'd be making a big mistake. Run that by me again? The victim was dead before the car hit him. Two puncture wounds to the right side of the thorax. Second puncture reached his heart. You're kidding me. Been doing this job 23 years, son. No one's ever laughed at one of my jokes. He was stabbed to death? Long, sharp knife. Length of a bayonet. So the hit and run was a cover-up? I'd say he was stabbed twice at very close quarters. Both wounds thrusting upwards and then pushed in front of the car. <laughs> Easy, Tiger. Clever, really. I almost missed it. The trajectory of the wounds was all wrong if he was impaled by the hood ornament. Find the knife, detectives. Yes, sir. It all okay. comes back to the crime scene. We need to hit Ray's one more time and trial for evidence. Let's go back to, uh, to the cafe, then. Ray's Cafe. See, it's all unraveling. Five years from now, all our jobs will be done by robots. So there was some truth to Sheldon's cock and bull story after all. He didn't stop, but he didn't kill Patterson either. I'm no betting man, but I know where I put all my chips. The grieving widow and her shoulder to cry on. Now all we need is a murder weapon. We need to find that murder weapon. Let's go back to Ray's calf. Here we go. We're heading off. All those police cars that we keep passing. They can handle any emergency. We're going straight to the straight to the cafe. Solve this murder. Cafe. Lester could be a heel. We just wanted to check the crime scene over one that's more time. That's a lousy way for anyone to go out. If that's all right. Can you be quick about it? Cops are bad for business. Really? We'll tiptoe, Sabo. You won't even notice us. All right. Step by step, check every inch of ground. So they were playing cards out back.
Here's the card table. So this is why everybody comes to raise. The legal cards. Open the back door. Looking for an ice pick, I think. That's what I'm looking for. at the newspaper. Is there anything under the table? Nothing here. check the bin outside as well. Toilets, can't check. Check. Nope. There's got to be some sort of clue in here. So why wouldn't I be why wouldn't I come in here don't see any clue Not marking a clue. Nothing there. Come on, detective. Find it. Okay. I'm going to check outside. In the bin. No, it's not going to let me check the bin. What's this? I think. Keeps getting in the way, that does. Where is it? There's got to be a clue somewhere around here.
No, you blocked me in, detective. Do they keep... St Can I get in the gents? No, nope. can't get in the gents. I can't get in the ladies. How are we going to open that door? It says we can open this door. Definitely no clues coming up. We need to get out through that door. Perhaps we can go round the back. Yes, let's try going round the back. Uh -huh. Oh, clue. There we go. I'm sure Carruthers will confirm this as the murder weapon. Let's talk to Leroy. See him explain his way out of this. Sabo, you're under arrest for the murder of Lester Patterson. Not gonna happen, fellas. Go! I'll bring the car around and head him off. Too late, Sabo. Have I not had enough chasing today? You look spooked, Phelps. I thought you'd been under fire before. It never gets any easier, Bukowski. Have patrol pick up Mrs. Patterson. Well, he did come at us with a gun, so we weren't going to let him get away with it. So, I give you a hit and run, you bring me back fraud, conspiracy, and first degree murder. This is how a good detective operates, Phelps. You take nothing at face value. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. You got some sharp elbows on you, detective. I like that. Keep up the good work. And there we go. We've completed yet another case. A hit and run that turned into corruption, conspiracy, and murder. This ends the video. 
If you like what you saw, do hit that like button, do subscribe to the channel. But remember, if you want to see another LA Noir video, turn on those notifications and you won't miss it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.